finished, and once we finished inside, then we got the open books from the perimeter and, and made those. But the first game, you're going to make some mistakes, and you know, hopefully we'll learn from them and get back here Sunday. <coughs> Jim, can, can you tell us why Michael was uh, in He'll be school? back Sunday. Like PJ, of the, uh, PJ yeah, PJ did a good job. He got some open looks, made a couple good plays early, got a couple offensive rebounds, and, and you know, had a nice game. Very nice. He's a good player, good shooter. You know, I thought he was. I thought he was good tonight. Um, you know, I thought we were good. I really did a much better job in the second half of just slowing down, and getting the ball in basically similar places we got in the first half. Finished. Talk about Kendall's performance. Maybe the first yeah, I made a couple of mistakes, which is normal for most for most freshman point guards, and he'll learn. He'll learn from it. How do you think Ron did coming in at 20 points? You know, it's not his position. But, you know, he did okay there. But, Jim, um, when did you find out you were going to have to play without Michael tonight? What's that? Now? Does that matter? Maybe in terms of being able to prepare? Pardon? Maybe in terms of having time to prepare? Um, I guess that's that's a fair question. We prepare for that guys not being able to play every, every day. So we don't have to just prepare differently. You know, we, play, we prepare for, like, Rock might miss the game Sunday, so we prepare for that every day of practice. Uh, guy might get hurt. Foul trouble. You have to prepare for every night. Nice situations. I think about the minutes Chino gave you tonight. I thought Chino did a good job in the first half. I thought he really did. I thought he was good. Really good. Well, he's going to help us. I think on defense, he gets his hands on balls. I thought uh, down low, his, his defense was good. It was very good. What's Rakeem doing differently to? to Get offensive position or be able to score? Well, no, he's not doing a lot differently. In the first half, they, they pushed him outside too far, and he had to make shots that he isn't even really working at practice. He tried to make a couple of turnaround jump shots. It's not really the shot he needs to get. He was getting the shots in the first half that they wanted him to get. In the second half, he got the shots that we need to get him. When he's around the basket, he's going to finish. Or get fouled. You know, he's a good offensive player. He's gotten better every year. I think it's it's very possible. It, it, in certain situations last year, the Pittsburgh game comes to mind. We went to him. He made two big buckets at, at home that got us back in the game. So I think you know he's very capable offensively. Uh, but he's much better this year. His mindset's much better. He worked much harder on his offense this year. I think he. Sometimes it's just with big guys, they come to the realization that it's you know, their time to... to uh, Orense was a little like that. He was okay as sophomore, junior, and he was a pretty, really pretty good player offensively his senior year. And I think Rock has that same ability to be able to score. But, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be, there'll be ups and downs uh, with it. I think with him and Chris in there, they work well together. And when one get, draws attention, the other one can get on the boards. And then the third factor is if you pay too much attention, then Tyler has the ability to get on the boards too. And that's what we have to work with is one of the strengths of this year's team. We have to be able to get on the boards and uh, you know, take advantage of that. We're a much better rebounding team this year, uh, I think, than we have been. That's something we can get better at still uh, as we move forward. And I think the, one of the keys is getting good shots. BJ got a couple good looks. Trevor finally got he, – he they're not giving him many good looks. And when that happens, there should be room inside for Rock and Chris, and that's, that's what happened. But when he gets them, he'll make them. And, uh, you know, Ronnie's going to be streaky. He's going to make some. He's going to miss some. Has to keep looking for. Him. 
Coach, I would hit a couple of shots to the end from the elbow on you know, different sides. Are well, they, they, that, was, that was the open area. That's his shot. That's 15 shot. feet, that's where he's comfortable. Um, and, and that's the shot he can make. Can you speak to uh, Chris's performance tonight? We call Chris. You know, he was good. He's not active. You know, he's just got to finish around the basket. There's some easy shots around the basket again, but you know, part of it is you know, just getting used to being around there. It, it takes time. But you know, he's active. He's active. He gets his hands on balls. He's long. It's difficult. I think he and I was our defense was much better. We were moving much better in defense. We worked on it. Carlton game helped us a lot. Got us thinking early about what we have to do on defense. And you know, when we when we're playing bad on offense, like in the first half, our defense is good enough to hold us in there. That's that's important. Could you expect BJ to get as much on the board as he did? Well, BJ, you know, he's active. You know, he's active. I wouldn't say that's a strength of his, but uh, you know, he did a good job tonight. No questions. You well, I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask. I'll ask what's probably on a lot of people's mind. Why the reluctance on Benajek? I never tell what. what I mean, but it, is is he hurt or is it something no, else? No, he's not hurt. No. Oh. Just a team, team thing. Yeah. You know, we never talk about it. We never really relate that. He'll be back Sunday and we'll go from there. Thank you. 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 Thank